Someone just reported that something opened up above CERN's Large Hadron Collider. Photographs of the strange object were posted to social media, with many saying that the object looks like a dark portal. Oddly enough, the user who posted the footage said that some sources are saying that these photographs were captured above the United States, but the truth is that they were actually taken above Switzerland's Large Hadron Collider complex. The opening has been described as looking like a dark portal, with the user saying that people were pulling to the side of the road to take videos. What's interesting about this object is that some said that when you look directly into the hole, you can't see the sky on the other side. If the event itself wasn't strange enough, people then started to come forward and comment that they had a dream about this event, with dozens of people saying that they had a dream where they imagined a portal opening in the sky and detailed that when they were looking inside it, they felt complete happiness come over them. Oddly enough, one person even said that they shared the dream they had on their social media page several days before this happened. Strangely, the dark opening appears to just sit in the sky, and as of right now it's caused a variety of theories to be put forward by those who've seen it. One user suggested that experiments may have been conducted in the area, and that this is the result of one of them, saying that if officials did this during the night, then it wouldn't be easy to see. As if this mysterious sighting wasn't strange enough, some people were saying that they could see objects flying out of the portal, with one woman describing how she saw two orb-like objects. And interestingly, these were even picked up on the video. These orbs are often associated with strange phenomena, and sightings of these bright lights go back hundreds of years. The reason people say they are connected to other mysterious aircrafts is due to how they move, with eyewitnesses saying that they appear to be under intelligent control as they are able to travel at high speeds, make quick maneuvers and even vanish within seconds. These strange glowing orbs have also been captured on things like webcams and it's led researchers to say that they are perhaps one of the most reported mysterious flying objects and that they are known for being difficult to photograph as they just appear as glowing smudges on cameras. In recent years, scientists have come forward and said that humans have the ability to control and manipulate the weather, saying that this involves the use of various techniques to alter the natural processes that create weather phenomena such as rain, snow, hail and fog. One common technique used involves the use of chemicals such as silver iodide or dry ice to stimulate cloud formation and precipitation. The chemicals are released into the atmosphere either by ground-based generators or by aircraft, where they are dispersed into the clouds to encourage the formation of rain or snow. Other techniques that have been proposed include the use of lasers, microwave beams, and even large-scale wind turbines to alter the movement and behavior of atmospheric systems. While these techniques have shown some promise in certain applications, their effectiveness remains limited and controversial. Some went down this route and suggested that this was part of some experiment being carried out in the area. Skeptics were not impressed and said that what people are most likely seeing is nothing more than a cloud or a smoke ring. A smoke ring is a visible vortex ring formed by smoke or other particles in the air. The ring is created when a burst of air is expelled through a circular opening, such as the mouth or the barrel of a smokestack. The air forms a vortex as it travels through the opening creating a circular motion that draws in smoke or other particles from the surrounding air. As the vortex expands and moves away from the opening, it forms a distinct ring shape that is often visible for several seconds. However, many who allegedly witnessed this event said that the ring didn't disperse, and noted that it could be seen hovering in the sky for several minutes without moving. They also noted that if it was a smoke ring, then you would be able to see through it, but said that you couldn't and that all you could see when you looked into it was darkness. As of right now, people are still debating what this object is and where it came from. The Large Hadron Collider is a particle accelerator located at CERN near Geneva, Switzerland. It is the largest and most powerful particle accelerator in the world, with a 27-kilometer or 17-mile ring-shaped tunnel buried underground, designed to accelerate particles to very high speeds and smash them into each other. The Large Hadron Collider is primarily used to conduct experiments in high-energy physics. By colliding particles at extremely high speeds, 
The Large Hadron Collider allows scientists to investigate the fundamental structure of matter and explore the behavior of subatomic particles. Some of the main objectives of the Large Hadron Collider include searching for the Higgs boson, a particle that is thought to give mass to other particles, studying the nature of dark matter and dark energy, and investigating the possibility of extra dimensions. The Large Hadron Collider works by using powerful magnets to accelerate beams of particles to nearly the speed of light. These beams are then directed to collide head-on at four points along the tunnel, where detectors are positioned to record the particles produced by the collisions. The detectors allow scientists to analyze the properties of the particles produced, such as their mass, charge and energy. The Large Hadron Collider has been in operation since 2008 and has made a number of important discoveries in the field of particle physics, including the confirmation of the existence of the Higgs boson in 2012. It is expected to continue operating and producing groundbreaking research for many years to come. The Large Hadron Collider is designed to collide protons or other particles at extremely high energies, and some people have raised concerns that these collisions could create a microscopic black hole that could grow and consume the Earth. Firstly, black holes are formed when massive stars collapse in on themselves and require an enormous amount of mass to form. The energy of the Large Hadron Collider's collisions is not nearly enough to create a black hole of any significant size. Secondly, the Large Hadron Collider's collisions produce particles that quickly decay into lighter particles, and any hypothetical black hole that might be produced would also be highly unstable and would rapidly evaporate due to a process called Hawking radiation. Finally, even if a microscopic black hole were somehow created at the collider, it would be so small and short-lived that it would have no impact on the Earth or its inhabitants. In short, yes, the Large Hadron Collider could theoretically create a black hole, but scientists have said that it's an important scientific tool for studying the fundamental properties of matter and the nature of the universe, and poses no danger of creating a black hole that could threaten the Earth. The Large Hadron Collider is important for several reasons. One of the main goals was to discover the Higgs boson, a fundamental particle that gives mass to other particles. In 2012, the experiments discovered the Higgs boson, which was a major milestone in the field of particle physics. The Large Hadron Collider is capable of producing high-energy collisions that could create new particles, such as supersymmetric particles or extra dimensions. These particles could help solve some of the outstanding mysteries of the universe, such as the nature of dark matter and the unification of the fundamental forces. The standard model of particle physics is the theory that describes the fundamental particles and their interactions. The collider is capable of testing the predictions of the standard model and probing for deviations that could reveal new physics beyond the standard model. The Collider has pushed the boundaries of technology in fields such as superconducting magnets, vacuum systems and particle detectors. The development of these technologies has led to new innovations in fields such as medicine and material science. The Large Hadron Collider is a massive scientific project and one of the most expensive experiments in history. The Collider is operated by the European Organization for Nuclear Research, and its construction and maintenance have required a significant investment of resources. The construction of the Large Hadron Collider was estimated to cost around $3.8 billion at the time it began in 1998. However, this figure does not include the cost of upgrades and maintenance, which have brought the total cost closer to $11.8 billion as of 2021. The Collider is also a very large project in terms of the number of people involved in its operation and maintenance. It employs over 3,000 scientists and engineers from more than 60 countries. While the cost of the Large Hadron Collider is significant, it is important to note that the scientific discoveries made by the LHC have had a profound impact on our understanding of the universe. Researchers at the Collider have said that studying black holes is important because they provide a unique laboratory for testing the fundamental laws of physics. Black holes are formed from the collapse of massive stars, and their strong gravitational fields warp space and time in ways that are not yet fully understood. By studying black holes, 
Scientists can gain insights into the nature of gravity, the behavior of matter under extreme conditions, and the structure of space and time itself. One of the most exciting areas of research in black hole physics is the study of gravitational waves, which are ripples in the fabric of space and time that are produced when massive objects like black holes collide. These waves were first predicted by Albert Einstein's theory of general relativity, but it was not until 2015 that they were directly detected by the Laser Interferometer Gravitational Wave Observatory. In addition to advancing our understanding of the laws of physics, studying black holes can also help us to better understand the formation and evolution of galaxies. Supermassive black holes are thought to be at the centers of most galaxies, and their gravitational influence can shape the growth and structure of these systems over billions of years. Finally, studying black holes can help us to better understand the nature of the universe itself. Black holes are one of the most intriguing and mysterious objects in the cosmos, and their study can shed light on questions about the nature of dark matter, dark energy, and the ultimate fate of the universe. When an object gets close enough to a black hole, the black hole's gravity becomes so strong that it can no longer escape. This region of space from which nothing can escape is called the event horizon. As the object gets closer to the black hole, it experiences a process called spaghettification. This is because the gravity of the black hole is so strong that it pulls the object apart into long, thin strands like spaghetti. Eventually, the object crosses the event horizon and enters the black hole. At this point, it is impossible for any information about the object to escape the black hole. It is thought that the object's mass adds to the total mass of the black hole and the object becomes a part of the singularity at the center of the black hole. It is still not well understood what happens to matter at the singularity, but it is thought that the laws of physics break down and a new kind of physics takes over. Black holes are formed from the remnants of massive stars that have exhausted their fuel and collapsed under the force of gravity. Therefore, the number of black holes in the universe is related to the number of massive stars that have existed in the history of the universe. It is estimated that there are millions or even billions of black holes in our Milky Way galaxy alone. However, most of these black holes are so-called stellar black holes, with masses only a few times that of our Sun. There are also intermediate mass black holes with masses between 100 and 100,000 times that of our Sun, and supermassive black holes with masses millions or billions of times that of our Sun. The origin of intermediate mass and supermassive black holes is still a topic of active research. The exact mechanism for the formation of black holes is still not fully understood, but the study of black holes can provide insights into the fundamental nature of gravity and the structure and evolution of the universe. So, what do you make of these discoveries? Be sure to leave your questions and answers in the comment section below and help us to grow this community while working to solve these unexplained mysteries. Thank you for watching, and don't forget to subscribe for more videos.